effect of temperature on magnetization and the QT temperature. So let us see what will happen to a fully magnetized material or a bar magnet when we heat that element. For example, let us consider a magnetized iron. Okay, this is magnetized iron or simply we can call this as magnet. Okay, we have learned in the last lecture that for a magnet and a magnetized ferromagnetic material, all the dipole movements of a small small region which we defined as domain will project, will direct in the same direction and thus it will pose, it will possess a magnetism and become a magnet. So this is our that material in which if you see all the arrows are in this direction which refers that the magnetic movements or the magnetic dipole movements of that electron of the electrons of this material are in the same direction and thus there is net magnetic field. So now let us heat this. Okay. I will give it a heat and now what will happen to this let us see. So for that also I have to again draw it like this. Okay. So, whenever we heat this ferromagnetic material or a magnet, then what will happen is the direction of the dipole movements will change randomly. For an example, it was like this. All the dipole movement was in this direction, but here it is going in that direction, that direction, that direction and it is changed randomly. Why? Because whenever we hit this magnetic material, what will happen is the electrons which is making the magnetic movement will start vibrating in random fashion. Okay, we hit the magnetized material or magnet, then the electron will start vibrating. It will start moving here and there everywhere randomly. Because of that, the magnetic movement or the magnetic dipole movement will change. Okay, so the magnetic movement will disaligned in different direction like this. Okay, so what happened is the magnetic movement, magnetic, okay, please remember movements, okay, disaligned. This A L I Z and it is aligned randomly when when this element was heated and because of that this direction of the dipole moment will change. Okay, therefore direction of magnetic moment magnetic moment okay moment changes changes. Now, if the direction of magnetic moment changes, first it was all in the same direction like this, okay? It was just like this, all are in the same direction here, okay? Magnetic moment of all the domain was in the same direction like this, okay? Now, because of heating, this has gone this side, this has gone this side. Then what will happen to the magnetization? See, it is going downward, it is going upward, this will cancel with this one, only there is single moment. It means that the magnetic moment will change and the magnetization will decrease. So, the magnetization decreases, very important, the magnetization decreases, okay. So, whenever we hit any material, the magnetization will decrease. So this is very important. Now if I cool it up, then if I cool it down, okay, we heat, magnetization decrease and same thing I will do, but I will reverse, re re reverse and I will cool it. Then what will happen? The magnetization will increase. 
okay understood just opposite to each other so now uh, let me go to the curie temperature so now uh, i will uh, rub this out so let us consider this as this is my now uh, iron okay iron and which is ferromagnetic isn't it ferromagnetic now i heat this and i heat this and i heat ferromagnetic material iron at uh, say 1043 kelvin degree centigrade i heat it and this will convert it into para para magnetic or simply para i will write so it will convert it into para so whenever we heat ferromagnetic material at this point it will convert it into para so one more example is cobalt which is also ferromagnetic i will heat it into 1400 kelvin and this will become again paramagnetic okay so one more example is nickel yes nickel is 700 and 627 so 627 kelvin that will become par so whenever we heat paramagnetic material because of this alignment of the magnetic moments in different different direction it will lose its property from ferromagnetic material to paramagnetic material because of heating so the temperature at which a ferromagnetic material converts itself into a paramagnetic material that temperature is called curie temperature okay this temperature is called curie temperature this is very curie temperature and sometimes this is also called as curie point okay and in short denote to denote this we write tc tc okay not that tc so curie temperature is that temperature at which where the ferromagnetic material converts into par for example for iron it's 1043 kelvin cobalt uh, 1400 and for nickel 637 kelvin so these are my temperature dependence of magnetization now this we have not done in any mathematical form okay we have just say that whenever we heat the electron moves randomly and the direction of movement magnetic moment will change and magnetization will decrease we just say that now let us see it from the mathematical part okay so mathematical part because we are doing physics and we know that chi is equal to okay so uh, we know the curie law says that chi is inversely proportional to 1 by t so this is called curie curie law what does this mean that whenever we heat temperature i mean whenever we increase the temperature the susceptibility will decrease okay so here i will uh, write so this is my curie law so here i will write temperature increase then what will happen the sky will decrease so this is my curie law i will write here c u r i curie law somewhere here and also we know one thing that we have studied this susceptibility is equal to magnetization divided by magnetizing field now i want to remove this one if i remove this one i will get chi is proportional to magnetization right now i will just do it here okay if chi increases or if chi decreases magnetization will decrease right so what happens is from this i increase the temperature and the chi decreases so now here i will write chi decrease okay chi decrease then what will happen to magnetization so magnetization will also decrease understood if chi increase magnetization increase if chi decrease magnetization also decrease this chi is susceptibility and this is my curie law now let me see this two okay this and this let us connect this two equation here then i increase the temperature if i increase the temperature chi will decrease inversely proportional they are and 
chi is proportional to m from this. So if chi decreases, m also decreases. That is chi decrease, m also decrease. Now let us connect this. If the temperature increases, here what happened? This was my uh, material. I increased the temperature and magnetization was decreased. Similarly here, if I increase the temperature, the magnetization will decrease. Okay, if I increase the temperature, susceptibility decrease. Susceptibility decrease means magnetization decreases because susceptibility is that quantity which will tell us how much the magnetic field will pass. Okay, so if temperature increases, magnetization decreases, we got it from here also and this law is my Curie law. Okay, and what is uh, the Curie temperature? The temperature at which ferromagnetic material converted into paramagnetic material. So these are very important topics. Thank you.